What's up guys, David here, and today I'm going to teach you how to create a basic floor plan in Revit architecture. So first, what you want to do is open up Revit. Doesn't really matter which version you have, they are all very similar. And your first step is going to be to create a brand new project. So what you do is go up here to this R, and then click New. And then you can select a template right here, or you can browse for more. And then here's a bunch more. And then also, if you're more advanced in the future, you can create one. So I'm going to select the one I have created and click OK. Now, here's just your basic Revit window. I'm just going to go ahead and make this bigger here. Um, so Here's your toolbar all the way up here. These are all your different tools. And then here's your properties box and your pro project browser. So I'm going to be referring to them quite a bit in this video. So to get started, what you want to do is click on wall and then just select the type of wall that you're going to want to draw with. So for this, I'm going to be drawing the exterior of my house. So I'm just going to click a exterior wall and then it's really simple. All you do is drag and then click and drag wherever you want your walls to be. So I kind of have a shape of a house that I already have planned out here. I'm not worrying about the numbers right now, but if I wanted to be more exact, I could. So there's the basic shape of my house. Now I have to make sure that all these walls are faced the right way. So there's two ways to do this. Either you can click on the wall and make sure that the arrows are on the outside here so these two are flipped around or you can just go to scroll down in your project browser and find 3D and double click that and then you can see which walls are on the outside and which ones are on the inside so I want to flip these all around I also maybe want to add some color to this to make it easier to see so right down here you can see a empty white box that is your color option so here's a bunch of different ones I usually use consistent because I just like that I prefer that the most so I'll just show you that all my walls are flipped the right way this one's got to be flipped and then all of those are so I'm gonna go back to my first floor plan now and I want to change the length of all these different walls so if you haven't already, you should watch my video on how to annotate walls because that will go over more in depth on how to do this. There will be a link in the description, but I'll just go over this quickly. You want to go up to annotate, aligned, and then for exterior walls, you want to go from the outside to the outside. So I just click tab, so it selects the outside of each wall. Click. Always click tab so it'll select the different parts of the wall, not the middle. You want to be on the outside of these walls. Okay, now to make all these nicer numbers or more even numbers, what you want to do is click on the wall that you want to move. So for example, I'm just going to start with this one. And then you click on the wall you want to move and then your dimension that you just put into place. And you just type whatever you want and then that wall will move. So I want that one at 15. And then here again, I'll click on the wall that I want to move so I can make this number nice. I'll just make this one 30. Once again, wall I want to move. And it's just basically the same with all of these. Always click the one you want to move and just make sure it won't screw up any of your other numbers. off 
And there you go. Now, as you can see, I have all nice numbers. One little tip with this is if your text is just a little bit small and hard to read, you can change the font size of that. I already have that preset in mind, but what, how you change that is you just click on one of these dimensions, click Edit Type, and then scroll all the way down. And then under Text, you will see Text Size, and then just change it. By default, I think it's 3 30 seconds, and usually I use around 1 fourth because that's a good size for me. And then you just change that and click OK, and then all your numbers will be bigger. If this video helped you guys out, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.